Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play the beautiful game known as Ostriv, or Ostriv, I'm not sure on the pronunciation. But yeah, this game is beautiful, it's very relaxing. Let me kick the play button here so we get things moving. I do think this will be the last episode for this little Let's Play, but uh, let me know if you want to see more. I'll keep an eye on the comments, and even if you're watching this a year or two after it airs, or after I post it, let me know. This game is in early access. Uh, it's been in early access for quite a while. This is a labor of love kind of kind of a, of a game. I think the developer has put a ton of attention to detail into this um, and a bunch of care and love in the game. So it may be under development for quite a while. So again, if you're watching this video months or years after it posts, but you still want to see more and you want to see the latest developments in the game, just let me know in the comments. I'll be notified and I'll check that out. And uh, maybe we'll see more of this. Or if you're just seeing it the day it posts and you want to see more, <laughs> you can add a comment too. Let me know. But for now, yeah, let's make this. We'll make this. I'm planning to make this the last episode uh, just so I can get some more games in front of you. Now, it looks like uh, we blew it here on the hay. Now, I'm wondering if this is going to go bad. So we, ooh, I think some just disappeared off of here. So we may lose our hay from the hay dryers because we didn't have our hay barracks up and ready to uh, store that in a way that would keep it good for the animals. So hopefully we've got enough to make it through winter. It says we've got a five month supply. So that should be good to get us into the next uh, growing season for hay. Now our villagers have been complaining pretty heavily about not having a variety of food. But it looks like about half of the houses are not complaining, so I'll take that as a slightly good sign. Our finances are hovering around 150. They don't seem to be dropping. Uh, I think we might be making some money off of our market stalls. We can take a look at the finance uh, button here. Let's go ahead and click it and look on the details. So we're coming up on the end of the year. It says for the current year, we've made uh, $600. So that's obviously much better than the previous year. So our trades must have had some effect. Um, our salaries have gone up a little bit here. Our imports have gone down, which is good. But our messengers, the people that we sent out went up. And $100, that is my mistake. I sent a messenger out, and then I didn't actually leverage them while they were out there. And so that kind of hurt. But it looks like this year we only lost $365 versus the previous year of a, you know almost $1,100. And income has gone up tremendous. Locals, I see, local sales here were $167. That's not anywhere near enough to cover our salaries. And then uh, our exports, we got 391.37. Now, I don't know. Oh, look at that. They're pretty happy with the food all of a sudden. Let's see. Are they getting, did we slaughter a cow or something? It looks like, uh, boy, I'm shocked to see that. Anyway, that's good. I was just saying, I'm wondering if there are like open contracts for this food. Now, it looks like they came and took some, right? Because we've only got 200 potatoes left. And the flour is down to 130. It says a new family is settling in our town up at the top. So it looks like, yeah, a house just got constructed and we brought in yet another couple. This couple is a little older. And they've got a child that is getting closer to working age, I would imagine. Now, we've got sunflowers that we've been growing, and we haven't done anything with them. We've moved some into storage. I think there's still some at the farm. Now it looks like we got them all. And I think those need to be turned into oil before they can be used for anything. Let's go ahead and build the oil workshop. I'm not sure what that sunflower oil is used for. If we cook with it, or if it's just a trade good. Either way, let's go ahead and put it near. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a little bit more of a production area. Let's go ahead and drop it right there. And we'll let that get, we'll add that to the queue. We got our first uh, hay barracks here. It came a little late, unfortunately. Ooh, does it have hay in it? 887. Or no, 100, 887 hay in there. Nice. 
So, yeah, not bad. Oh, that's awesome. So we're good on hay. We can probably get some more cows. It's just the money is not great. We need to find a way to make some money. I don't know. Maybe if we were to play this over again or start a new village, I'm wondering if going after the dried fish would have been a good thing to start on like very early it's just it takes two buildings and then you got to build boats on top of it before you get your first fish i believe so that's what kind of turned me off to it but i have a feeling we could have uh tried to max that out and we would have had a good product available for sale and it would have kept our villagers fed as well and that's probably something that they're complaining about that they don't have fish to eat i just don't have a lot of money here to bring in more product i can sell <laughs> let's go uh let's go send someone out and see if we can sell more charcoal to that town way out here Dracachi. it's gonna cost me 80 bucks to do it but uh hopefully uh, and i gotta keep an eye on this so we don't waste our messenger here so it's gonna take 16 days to get there but hopefully these guys have a demand for charcoal. I can't tell until he gets out there and we spent the 85 bucks. Now we're down to $52 in our treasury. That's not great. The other building I'm going to queue up and hopefully we'll get to see it is the, uh, is the town hall. And this may, this may be a building that I should have built right out of the gate, but boy, it's hard to pick. What's the most important thing? So let's put this kind of near the market. I'm going to have it face the kind of the markets. Like that. And I'm thinking of adding a couple markets on this side as we grow. All right, let's, uh, let me slow the game down here and make sure I don't lose track of our messenger. Hopefully we can sell some charcoal and stay afloat. We might even be able to uh, let me pause it. We may even be able to sell some nails or something. We have we could bring in iron and maybe sell nails or something. It doesn't look like we have a ton. How many do we have in here? Iron, we've got a thousand. Let's. I'm not sure what the disadvantage is to increasing these storage amounts. So I'm just going to up these to three thousand for now. We seem to burn through the metal parts pretty fast. And then no one cares to bring wood over here, apparently. We've got plenty stored at the forestry station. We've got a good supply of everything there. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the trading post. Go back to the world map. And let's turn on the speed here. And our messenger is just about at town. As soon as he gets there, I'll probably hit pause. And then we'll look and see. Hopefully we can make some money. All right. Let's pause it and see what we got. Demand. Okay. He wants charcoal. I will sell you everything you want. Deal. That'll get us. Supposedly that's going to get us $477. Now, I don't, I don't think I saw that money last time. But we'll do it and see. So if. Keep that in mind, $475 should be coming in. So we should see this thing go up at least over 400, I hope. What else can we sell? We have, we don't have sunflower oil yet. We have wheat. Let's see what we've got in our storage. We've got 1400. I'm going to sell a thousand of this. I think we'll make it through winter. And that'll get us a hundred dollars. So deal on that. Then I may buy, let's see, how much are cows going to cost me? Why don't we buy four more cows for 200? And uh, so that'll, we'll see. Hopefully we end up around $300 after all this is done, if not a little more. But I'm thinking the cows will bring us some more milk, and then at some point we can, uh, Slaughter them for meat, I would hope. It wouldn't hurt to get chickens going, too. Maybe that would have been a better thing to start with. 
All right, we'll make those deals. I think that's it. We can't sell much more. We already sold wheat. Do I have buckwheat? I don't have any buckwheat. So we have a field planted of that, but it hasn't been, uh, we haven't harvested that, I don't think. I don't see it. Yeah, it doesn't say we have any, so I guess we can't. Close, nothing else, and nothing else here. We definitely don't need to buy flour. I wouldn't mind selling some. All right, hopefully we'll get some money out of that. I'll go ahead and kick on the play timer here, or the play speed. We'll go up to 12 times speed. So we've got our oil workshop being built. We had buckwheat. Boy, I thought that got planted. Yeah, here's buckwheat. I guess it just never got, uh, we didn't get it in time or something. But we haven't had a growing season since we changed it over to buckwheat. That's probably the case. Here's our fallow field. It's not quite ready for a crop. So we'll let this thing run at 12 times. We'll keep an eye on our treasury. It's down to $32. People are, are increasingly happy with the food. I got to think that's the milk. That's the only new thing we've added to the diet. And it took me a while to realize that we need to sell that at the market stall. So that was a mistake. I don't think we need to sell water. What else? Anything else? Sunflower oil. So we can't sell the sunflowers themselves. Potatoes. We have everything being sold. Horse meat. Oh, that's kind of not so great. Firewood we have sold. All right. Buckwheat we can sell. Let's go ahead and put, put it down because we know we're going to grow some. And here comes some more building. That's our oil workshop. And then we'll get the town hall starting and hopefully we'll see both of those get built. Now it looks like we're running low on food variety again. Here comes some wagons into our trading post. So, ooh, ooh, that must have been the stuff we bought because now we're in the red to the tune of 180 bucks. Now that could be the cows we bought and what else did we buy? Just the cows. So the cows got delivered. Somehow we've got bulls. So we didn't pick bulls, but we got two bulls now. And hopefully they can all fit in here. It looks like uh, livestock limit is 20 and currently we have eight. It looks like both of our hay, hay barracks have been built. This one looks lower, but I think that's just the nature of how the hay is stored. Because it looks like these roofs kind of slide up and down. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's get a worker in the sunflower place, sunflower oil workshop. I'm going to slow down the speed a tad. Let's make sure we have a place to store stuff. Now, is there, do I need to store sunflower oil? There it is. Yeah, sunflower oil. And again, let's just go with 3,000. I don't know what the pros and cons are for these amounts or what the max storage is. We're out of potatoes. We have plenty of wheat. We have a lot of flour. We sold a lot of flour. And we sold, I guess, all of our potatoes. But that's fine. That may be why these guys are complaining. Although they still have some potatoes, it looks like. I think once they get milk, they're happy. So hopefully we'll get some more milk out of our cow shed here. Maybe we put another worker in there. Plenty of hay. It's one month here in the cow shed, but I think we've got a whole bunch here, a thousand. So that's, we should be in plenty good shape for that. I'm getting, let's even go for another worker. And hopefully we can get more milk out of this cow shed. So we've got eight, we bought three, and then we bought four more, I think. And then we, one must have been born. That's my guess as, as to what's happened. Okay, our bank balance went up a little bit. We're, we're in the red, but only $27. So here comes some more wagons. So are these guys buying stuff from us? Let's see. It says 29. I didn't see the dollars change when he rode into town. But we do have a wagon here. Hopefully he is buying something. 
Do we need to put sunflower oil here? Yes. Let's make sure we sell that locally too. Okay, we sold all our dried fish. We are building our town hall. Let's get started on, let's queue up some construction. And I'm thinking, let's try the boatyard and then we'll do the uh, fishing. We'll just see how this goes. It may be a little late to pull it off. Getting a lot of uneven terrain complaints here as I try to place this. You just have to keep going until you find a spot, I guess. All right. We got our second well got built. Should be Everybody should be good with water. We've got tons. It looks like we're starting to thaw. That's a good sign. Now our farm, I don't know. I guess we want to start increasing the workers here, right? As we come into spring. Oops, sorry about that. Ooh, a little hard to see with this current uh, state of thawing. But let's go add some more workers. And this is a fallow field. It just doesn't have the nutrition that we need yet. Here come all our cows. They should help improve the nutrients in the soil quite a bit. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's a little baby. Nice. Very cool. Looks like nine. Yep, nine. That's awesome. And again, I think we bought like seven. So we've gotten two, I believe, have been born. All right, we're chugging along. We're back in the positive here on the finances. Only 37 bucks. I think sell. Oh, look at the food. They're pretty happy on the food. Now that sunflower oil, that's going to probably help. That's probably going to help the, uh, the happiness factor. Buckwheat, I don't know. Did, did I say we could just sell that? Yeah, we can just sell the buckwheat too. Good. So that must be something that we can eat. All right, I'm anxious to kind of get the town hall built and see what that's all about. We got plenty of wood. I don't want to go any lower than two workers here, though, because I'm afraid I'll lose track of it, forget, and then they won't be cutting down any trees and we'll be stuck for a while. I want to, I want to always be able to build. We've got a cow pasture here that's just kind of sitting. I don't know that we're, I don't know that we'll ever use it actually, because uh, we're probably always going to have a fallow field that we can use. These nutrients are slowly being added back into the soil as we have our cows grazing. Looks like nine to me still. Very cool. Uh, the growing season has not started yet for our hay, but we've got plenty in storage. In fact, we might even be able to sell that. Let's put some in stock if we can. Nope. I guess we can't only available. Yeah, I guess we cannot sell. Hey, that's too bad. It must just be too easy to produce. All right. Well, we're at 12 times speed. I can't go faster than this. Finances are down to 1750. I don't even have enough money to send a messenger out. Now, I don't know if that limits us or if we can go into the red. We could find out pretty easy. Our charcoal is just staying at 18,000. So I don't, I don't understand how or if that is actually being delivered and sold. It seems like we should have seen our balance go up to around 300 or more. And it hasn't, even after we bought the cows and things. So I'm not sure that all our sales are going through as intended. I guess I could add another worker here to the trading post and see if that makes any kind of difference at all. I don't think it will. All right, we've got things planted. Everything's growing. We've got two buckwheats and a wheat. And again, this is slowly recharging the nutrients. Let's count them up here. That looks like that's still nine. 
All right, we're now moving into the red. Messenger from Marefa is visiting now. Okay. Now, are they already here? I don't see the little wagon. But I see a message. Okay, now they left. I'm going to dial down the speed a little bit. I don't see much change in our treasury here from that messenger being here, but they said they sent a messenger. Be nice if they took some uh, charcoal with them and left us some cash. Okay, so they're way over here. Oh, can we do some dealing? Let's pause. All right, all right. Can we sell these guys anything? Sunflower. Oh, I've already processed it all into oil. Looks like sunflower oil. Let's sell a thousand if they'll take it. Or how about 900? We need the cash. We'll sell that flour. I don't have much left. <laughs> I don't think I want to sell that. Yeah, that's it, right? Fried fish, sunflower oil, buckwheat. Eventually we'll have some, but I can't sell it now. And to buy nothing. There's nothing here I want to buy. There's probably, you know, you could work out the math and see if buying wheat and then selling them flour back makes sense from a profit standpoint. I'm not going to do that math right now. All right, let's keep it going. We're trying to sell some sunflower oil. We'll see if we are successful. We've already converted all our seeds into oil, which is pretty quick. Slaughterhouse has no one working in it. I'll put a person in there just in case. We'll see what happens. We're still at nine, it looks like. Or no, we have ten now. Let me pause and count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two right there, right? Eight, nine, ten. All right, so these guys are breeding. Uh, that's going to help our income situation. The field's getting better and better. So we'll probably pick another field to, to fix up. Maybe it'll be this uh, buckwheat field becomes the next one we make fallow. And this guy, we plant some fresh wheat or something. All right, we're back in the red. $15 in the red. I don't know why our charcoal does not seem to be selling. We should have had hundreds of dollars from charcoal. Get plenty in inventory to sell at the trading post. Tons. We've got two workers just in case someone shows up. We can shovel a bunch of charcoal in their wagon real quick. All right, our town hall. Let's see how we're doing on building materials. Everything's there. We've got only one builder. He is keeping busy. I'll go back up to 12 times speed. Hopefully we'll get more milk to sell here. I see we don't have much in inventory at the market. Got plenty of hay. Now I don't see anybody drying it, but I guess, yeah, we're still not there apparently. I think we're okay with just the two market stalls. Let's just check and take a quick look. We did buckwheat. We don't have any other products we can sell that we're not already selling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything we're making, we're selling. Okay, we're down 26. Be nice if we actually got to the point where we had some surplus milk. Can we store that in here? Yep, let's do it. So we've got 980 sunflower oil and our people will eat that. We'll make a little bit of money as we sell it at the market. That'll help our treasury. We've got 434 flour and then more flour coming from this wheat. And we've got two workers at the windmill. So they should chew through that pretty good. 
All right, we're finally starting to produce some hay. We don't really need it. We're, we're doing pretty darn good on the hay. Let's pause and count our cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten still. Now I'll turn it back on. I don't see milk here. We've got the slaughterhouse on. There's no workers. We do have two bulls. We could get a plow. We could uh, we could turn one into an oxen, right? I don't know if that would slow down. The, okay. Okay, we've got a bunch of new bulls here. I'm going to turn one of these into an ox. Boom. And then we'll see if uh, next season, if we make it, we'll see if we can actually use our plow. Because I think we have one. This says ordered. What are, they, what are they waiting on for the plow? One more order in the queue. Where is it? So I'm not sure why we don't have our plow. Right? Order a plow. We ordered that ages ago. I believe it's the carpenter that would build that. So it could be that's not implemented yet, or it could be I'm missing something obvious. You know, our smithy is set to make a lot of stuff here. I believe everything we need for a plow, but maybe I'm missing something. Let's go through. I'm going to kick up the speed again. I'm not going to worry too much about the finances. I think we're we're going to be in the red for the duration here. Let's uh, look at production. Is there anything that would that looks like we need to build it in order to get a plow built? I don't see anything here. We didn't do the lime stuff or clothing. Or stone. I think that's, yeah, I don't know why. I'm not sure why that would happen. Let's go ahead and cancel it and then order a new one. Boom. And now let's look at our carpenter. It just says one more order in queue. So, yeah, I can't tell why we're not getting that plow built. Okay, we've gotten... Oh, it needs two oxen in order to run a plow, it looked like. I just saw a message that said there were not enough. Okay, I'm going to pause the game. Let's go to the trading post real quick. Okay, we can still do some trading here if we want. I think we've done all we can do. Yeah, we don't have sunflowers. We've already sold our oil. I think we've sold it. Flour, let's go ahead and sell 500 flour. We're making more, so it would be nice if that was $750, but it's only $75, but that may help. Let's do that, and then what else can we do while we're paused? I want to turn another one of these cows, or bulls, I'm sorry, into an ox. Let's just do it. I'm going to do it. Boom. Even though that may slow down our reproduction because we've only got bulls that are a few months old. But I want to do it just to see if we can find the... Uh... Let's see. Yeah, we already did that. I just want to see if we can uh, get that plow to work. And maybe they don't build the plow until you've got two ox ready for it. Just not sure why that's not... Be there we go. So it took two oxes. We had to have two oxes identified before they'll build the plow. And maybe they actually get delivered over to the carpenter. Yeah, look, see, he's leading the ox over there. All right. Well, we solved that problem, I think. Have to have two oxen before they will even make the plow. But we might get a chance to look at that. We're coming up on the end of the episode. But we'll let this run a bit. I'm at 12 times speed. We did sell a little product, so there's a chance we could get back into the green here financially. I don't know. 
There we go. Nice. Nice. We, not, we may not get to see that in motion, but we've got it at our farm. So next time through, we'll be able to do it. So we took two animals out. What do we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They've already had another one. So let's keep this on high. We have not started building our boatyard yet. Or we've delivered some materials, but the construction, there's only one builder in town right now. Everybody else is occupied with other things. It looks like our hay barracks have been getting filled up. We've got 2,000 stored. So we're, we're doing just fine. Nine animals. Here comes some milk, it looks like. So that's good to see. The food is iffy. A lot of our people are happy, but some aren't. Boat yards and and the fishing dock are both being constructed. Our bank balance is getting a little tiny, teeny bit better. <laughs> we're at minus eight, but we're still in the red. But yeah, let's wrap it here. We'll wrap this little season. Let me know if you want to see more. I can always continue it and start it or start it up again at a much later date or a much sooner date. Just let me know in the comments what you think. I think this is a great game. I really like it. It's super duper relaxing. I've kind of rushed it by hitting the 12 times speed, but but for me personally, I could literally probably play this at one time speed and just chill out and really enjoy it and take time to watch the people and, and click on them and figure out what they're, you know, who they are and all this stuff. So it's kind of cute, you know, right? Here's a little kid's five years old, he's not educated, unemployed. And what's he doing? He's playing around. So there's just a lot, a lot to kind of visually look at and enjoy in this game. And then obviously there's a lot of mechanics that we haven't uh, fully explored or mastered yet. We haven't mastered the trade, that's for sure. And then there's a bunch of production buildings we haven't gotten to yet either that I think would help us reach uh, more stable profitability. Uh, we haven't done the boat trading. So, and then again, it's early access. So this game is still being developed and features are being added. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments, but that's it for now. This is Glattercat signing off saying thanks so much for uh, being with me on the journey here. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. And I will see you in the next episode or the next series. All right, take care.